praise the Lord. But at that moment, the sister to baby Moses was already there. She saw where the baby was being taken. The baby was taken in the palace. Where the the person who was killing the children was. Praise the Lord. The enemy is the one that raised Moses. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor. The enemy raised Moses. At that point, I think the mother would have collapsed. The mother could have said, my child is dead. The enemy has got my secret. The enemy has got it. I have no more secret. The baby is dead. Praise the Lord. But the girl had to run and told the daughter of Pharaoh, I know someone who can breastfeed this baby. Praise the Lord. The mother of Moses came in that same place where the enemy wanted to destroy every baby boy of a Hebrew woman was keeping a child who was a Hebrew. Little did the enemy know that this boy is in the records of heaven as a person God was going to call God was going to use to remove the children of Israel out of Egypt and take them to the promised land. Am I speaking to someone? Praise the Lord. I think Apart from only killing the children of the Hebrews, the, the, the Hebrew boys, if the, if the king knew that this boy that my daughter has brought in the palace has Imagine just your enemy being brought in your land like this. Praise the Lord. Picture a scenario. Take away at your enemy being brought in your hand like this. This person you thought that was just an enemy of your kingdom. But this person is also an enemy towards your purpose upon the whole generation of Israel. But the king did not recognize that. The king did not know that. Brothers and sisters, if only the secret was revealed to the king, the children of Israel could not live in Egypt because Moses was not going to survive in the kingdom. There are moments in life that the enemy thinks that he has you. The enemy thinks he has us. He puts you down in this position. And he thinks now he has finished. But I want us to enter into the new month. You get in a new month to strength with a boldness. That there is a secret no, that the enemy does not know. He may think he has brought the sickness. Even when you are sick, you are admitted on that bed. But you still have the breath to tell God, I know I am weak, but you are my strength. He may think that he has taken away your parents. But the Bible says that he is the father to the fatherless. We have seen orphans who have grown without a father. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the Lord
the Lord. Moses grew in the kingdom. Moses saw how the king lived. Moses saw everything. When God called Moses and told him, I have heard the cries of my children. Moses, time has come. Go and save my people. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Am I speaking to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody? Moses had to come out. But because Moses was raised by the devil, the devil thought that because he had Moses in his kingdom, Moses is going to grow like an Egyptian. Moses is going to stay in Egypt. But there is a secret. He did not know the devil may think you are growing in poverty. The devil may think you are growing in the polygamous family. But the devil may think that you are growing in that life of cancer. God bless you, my son. Praise the Lord. But time is going to come. Time is going to come. When God shall tell you, when my child, you are not a child of cancer. You are not a child of poverty. You are not a child of barrenness. You are not a child of tears. Come out of there. You will go out. And from there, you will be in position to stand and look back and pull on other people. Who are in poverty? And pull other people who are crying. You will be in position to stand and pray. Because in that place where the enemy thought you were in this kingdom, where the enemy thought you were going to die, you will live poor. You will live in sickness. God remove you away. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I don't know where we could be. I don't know where we are going to be. If God would have opened himself like this to the devil, the devil would have finished us. Praise the Lord. If only the devil knew every secret of your life, you would remain in that poverty forever. You would remain with that sickness forever because he could know everything from your head to your toe, from your beginning to your end. But we thank the Lord who has not given the devil that chance to know everything about us. Praise the Lord. If only the devil knew the secret about Job's life, he would have killed Job. He would have killed Job. But what he thinks he knows is a secret is not a secret. What he thought was the secret to putting Job down and God failing in his purpose was not the secret to the brother and That is why he told God <laughs> it is because you have Left him to have all the riches. That is why he is still praying. He is still calling you. But the devil was still stupid. Because if he was wise, he would have known that God had given him the secret to God told him take everything except 
If you are a Bible scholar, tell your neighbor. Excel. God told him. Yamukamba. Everything. But accept. His life. Obulamuwe. I want to speak to somebody today. Are you at the point of thinking that everything is finished? Are you at the point of thinking? Then see, the world is finished with you. That when you look at yourself, you look at yourself as the most poor person. You look at yourself as the most ugly person. That not even the poorest man. I 
want to say that same to you. It is not done to you. It is not done with your family. It is not done with your children. It is not done with your marriage. It is not done with your business. It is not done with your life. No, it is not. God Himself is done with you. That's what God is done with you. That is why you have died. But as long as you're still alive, it is not done with you. Praise the Lord. When I was going to give birth to my baby, it was a tough time. The enemy was whispering a lot to me. The enemy was whispering a lot to my ears. And I said, God, is it again this? I reminded God of the voice. I told him, God, you said, it is not done with me. But God is saying it is not done with you. Not until he himself is done. I want to speak it to your life. I want to tell you it is not done. Not until the enemy comes to know the secret. But if a parent cannot give up his child to be destroyed by the enemy, I want to encourage you today that God cannot give that one secret of your life to the devil for him to destroy you. Praise the Lord. Have your seat as we finish in a few minutes. Praise the Lord. I don't know whom I've come to speak to today. But I want you to gain your strength. I want you to gain your faith. It is not because of somebody. It is not because of a group. But it is because of you. You have to stand by yourself. And know that you have a secret. No matter what has defeated your family. No matter how your family has been no matter how your family has failed, the devil likes telling us that see, I want to be fair. This one's now. I was only one child. I'm going to be fair. just give us up like that. He has to If you reach a moment that you feel that God has left you, I want to rejoice with someone. I want to celebrate with you. As you're entering the new month, as you're saying, God has not left me. If the devil knew all your secrets, that accident, accident would have killed you. But the fact that only you left that accident with a scar, a broken bone, but you have a hand to clap your hands to praise the Lord. Is that now you tell the devil that you have no secret of mind that you know. Praise the living God. In this few months, the Lord has challenged me. There was a certain moment. 
I reached a point. I was like, where are my people? When I was in the hospital. But I thank God that when I did not have my people to come and be with me, it was only my sister who was with me. And when she was with me, that one mulwali. We will not just do it. We will not do it. We will not do it. We will pray. Brother Ray, for prayer, the Lord talked to me. The Lord talked with us. And he said in a situation, he said, I'm a winner. If I knew those people, those people, if they came, we would be confessing. We would be building my body. We would do big walakoso. I told them, Sorry, it's a pity. But the one I had, I had a one alone. We used to pray. Praise the Lord. Come here, Mr. Boy. If only Singa, the King, Kabaka. Could know the secret of delivering the children of Israel from captivity. When Moses moved out and God told him, Go and turn the water into blood. And the next day, go and declare pestilence. And the next day, there are seven different things that Moses did. But the king, and the king, and the so-called gods in the palace could not predict anything. No, not until on the last day when the lamb was slaughtered and God told the children of Israel to smear the blood on their if only they knew that they could also say let us also go and slaughter let us also clean the sheep and you will slaughter such that our children do not die but they did not know it when the children of Israel did it their first born survived when there was death in the home of the king and to cut the story short. The children of Israel went away from Egypt. Away from Egypt. Away from Egypt. Praise the Lord. Even when the king tried to say, You can go, but don't go further. Brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you today. It doesn't matter what you're going through. Don't give it up to the devil. Don't accept the devil to tell you that I have you. I have finished you. But I want to encourage you. I want to tell you. But no, you are not finished. The devil has not done it all. There is still something you remain You have your faith. You have God. The Bible says that even when a tree is cut, just at the center of the water, it will sprout again. Praise the Lord. It doesn't matter whether the tree is cut. But if the devil was wise, he would have uprooted the taproot. Because the taproot keeps the tree alive.
Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.